today we will be discussing chapter 2 conductometric titration the aim of the experiment is to calculate the concentration of an unknown strong acid using a base whose concentration is known to us using conductometric titration so let us see the requirements the requirements are a strong base whose concentration is 0.1 molar a strong acid whose concentration we don't know you have the conductivity meter this is multifunctional it can be used as a ph meter as well you have the glass electrode the calibrating solutions whose conductivity is known for us this is a magnetic stirrer this is actually a hot plate which we are using here as a stirrer you have the microburette which can read 10 ml a funnel used to fill it a stand you have soft tissue which can be used to clean the glass electrode so the instrument the conductivity meter is now switched on as i explained before this is actually multifunctional it can be used to read the ph as well as the conductivity now you can see 0, 0.00 micro siemens per centimeter is here but the cursor is up so using this key you have to bring the cursor down if it is now against micro siemens per centimeter that means it is ready to read the conductivity so first we have to calibrate this machine we are going to check whether this machine is able to read the conductivity of the solutions which we already know so by this we are able to cross check whether the machine is able to read the values correctly or not so first let us use the small value 1413 micro siemens per centimeter so this is the conductivity of the solution which is given so i'm going to check whether this machine is able to read this so that process or step is called as calibration so for calibrating the instrument take the glass electrode out the glass electrode is actually the small knob like thing which you are seeing here this is a very sensitive electrode you have to wash it with deionized water wash the glass electrode with the deionized water take a soft tissue and wipe it now the importance of wiping here is these little water droplets actually will change the concentration of the solution so it is important that you wash and wipe the electrode well so open the 1413 bottle so this solution's conductivity we already know now dip this glass electrode into the solution and you have to press calibrate look at the screen what is appearing conditional calibration so the machine is now trying to read this value you have to wait until this value appears on the screen you can see the number 1416 has come it is not fluctuating so you can see now it is 1413 and the unit is stagnant the unit is not fluctuating that means the calibration process is complete now for the first solution after that you have to press the same measure it is written here measure just press that so now this value is saved similarly we have to do for the other solution also you have to wash the electrode again yeah remove the solution again wipe it well open the other solution whose value is whose conductivity is actually it is written here 12.88 milli siemens per centimeter so dip it into this solution and again you calibrate it again it is appearing conditional calibration so it is calibrating the second solution now whose value is higher than the first so a number has already appeared but it is not the reading which we want to have
So you can see it is 12.9. Here what we have is 12.88 but this is this instrument is correcting only to one decimal place. So you have the reading 12.9 millisiemens per centimeter. Also you have to note that conductivity is always temperature dependent. So you have to note the temperature of the you know the performing temperature what is appearing on the screen always note down the temperature so the step which is calibrating the instrument is over we can just wash the electrode again pad dry 